From the beginning, we have dreamt of exploring the heavens. In the 1960s, step by step, America's Mercury and Gemini programs developed the skills and technology to go to space. In a giant leap, we saw the Apollo missions transform science fiction into science reality. Taking the next step, the Skylab and Mir space stations gave us the confidence to stay a while. And now, the International Space Station will prove we can stay indefinitely. But what's next? If the next steps are to travel to other planets, mount missions to the farther reaches of our solar system, maybe even beyond, spaceflight will need to be safe and routine, like today's airline travel. So, when will it happen? Actually, it's happening now. In fact, you may be able to get your first ticket aboard a space airliner in your lifetime. Today, space missions are expensive and require hundreds of engineers to safely lift a craft into space, achieve orbit, and then conduct operations. Launch criteria are conservative and every critical system has a backup. The next generation spacecraft will be more reliable, lightweight, fuel efficient, and operated by a handful of highly skilled men and women. This streamlining will increase safety and reliability and bring space costs down. As the costs come down, access to space can be expanded and the public will begin to go up. NASA, America's space industry, and its finest colleges and universities are working together to reduce the cost of getting to orbit. We are flight testing the next generation vehicle technologies and developing new power systems. We are evaluating new engine designs and launch concepts and lowering the cost of operating systems from the ground. Our space industry is building new experimental prototypes and developing new manufacturing techniques. Universities are conducting research in fundamental space physics, biology and chemistry. Led by the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, NASA has begun the Space Launch Initiative a plan for creating the next generation spacecraft built for safety, low cost, and reliability. With the Space Launch Initiative, NASA has jump-started developing a commercially competitive, privately owned launch system that will send reusable spacecraft into orbit in about 10 years. The goal is to advance the technologies needed to move people and hardware to space, from lower orbits to higher ones, and then sustain travel beyond the grasp of Earth's gravity altogether. The list of technologies we must develop is long. Altitude compensating nozzles, lightweight thrusters, better fuel lines and other components, and high temperature turbines are critical first steps. We also need automated systems that monitor and fix spacecraft when problems develop, and we must create simpler and safer crew escape systems. We need to design and test fuel efficient pulse detonating engines and new high density fuels. While we continue to improve traditional chemical engines, we are exploring new systems fueled by the sun and the Earth's own electromagnetic fields. Advanced concepts envision eliminating a rocket's whole first stage, perhaps by using high-speed train or laser beam technology. While combustion engines have gotten more powerful and efficient over time, the basic concept developed more than a hundred years ago has not changed. In the same way, rocket engines have gotten bigger and more complex, but are based on designs developed 80 years ago. We now stand at the brink of revolutionary breakthroughs that will form the foundation for spacecraft refinements 40 years from now. Beamed energy sails, advanced fusion systems, and matter-antimatter drives aren't just science fiction terms anymore. Our technology is improving, and our destinations are expanding. Already, more than 70% of today's space payloads travel beyond low Earth orbit. As our capabilities grow and our imagination blooms, people will express a desire to explore beyond the moon. Business will need fair access to the unlimited resources of space. Someday, we will take space cruises and even travel off-planet on business. Milestone by milestone, NASA, the U.S. space industry and America's educational institutions are paving a technology highway to space. Just as the Apollo program proved, Americans have the desire and ingenuity to embrace and realize the dream and challenge of spaceflight. Now, the next step is routine, safe, low-cost and reliable spaceflight. 
for everyone.